YouTube, what is going on? It's the Hodgeable, back with another video. Today's a special one because we're going to be checking out this 23andMe uh, result. It's like a DNA test. You can look and see where your family members come from, you know, who, who you may be re related to, things like that. And I'm very interested. I, I want to know. I want to know where my ancestors come from. Uh, I'm African American, so I'm guessing a lot of it is going to be Africa. But I'm not sure where. I don't know what languages my people spoke, and you know what our what our real history is. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment on the video, and drop a like. We're on the road to. 1k subscribers and I make travel and language content. Right now this is Dasmarinas Cavite in the Philippines. Uh, check out some of the travel videos as well. Uh, and if you're interested in doing 23andMe yourself, I have a referral link. You can get a discount. Definitely. It's just a simple test. Doesn't take too long to process, but I think uh, it's mainly for people in the United States. So I have my results here. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we go. As you can see here, I got the results in. Um, surprise, surprise, most of my DNA seems to be coming out of Africa. And a big chunk of it is West African. I look here, I even see some European, 14% uh, European, so... But I'm gonna get to that later because that's more down the list and a little bit of just some trace DNA, like very small percentages. Let's start with Africa though. West African 65%, Nigerian 35%. Now, I mean, that's what so many people say, right? Uh, African Americans, a lot of African Americans were uh, come out of Nigeria. So, all right. But I know in, in Nigeria, there is uh, three big groups, right? There's Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. So it would be really cool if 23andMe can show me some more details about exactly where in Nigeria. Because I know those three different groups have different lineages. So it could use a little bit more detail. But yeah, Nigerian. When I see Nigerians, a lot of them think that I'm Nigerian and I'm tall, I have some of the features. So I could believe it, I could believe it. That's where a lot of the popular uh, shows, movies, music comes from, Nigeria, like Burner Boy, so many other artists, 35%. Then we have Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone at around 19%. And I don't know too much about Liberia, Sierra Leone, but Ghana, I know that they extended their hand to African Americans uh, to be able to resettle back in Ghana because so many people were taken from there. And it's cool, it's cool. I guess I'm a true African American, like Nigeria, Ghana, and the people are beautiful. Uh, the Ghanaian people, like really beautiful, nice culture, very humble people. Going further down the list here. This is exciting. I'm, I'm happy to know. I'm happy to know more about myself and be able to now I can share this information with my family. It's really cool. It's a, it's a good feeling. Like you know, as African Americans, we're separated from our history, separated from our heritage, and like for myself, I'm trying to do whatever I can to still have a sense of self. You know, and. I feel like this helps. This helps me to feel my real vibration. We have Congo, some Congo, Angolan and Congolese, 15% Congolese, Congo. So that's like where there's a lot of thick jungle, right? I have a friend from Congo. I have a friend from Congo. So I know just a little bit about what's going on. But like a lot of bush, right? A lot of jungle, really strong men. Um, some of the biggest fruits and vegetables and, and plant life come from the Congo and natural resources. So that's a rich, that's rich heritage. The Congo is 
Hey, that's interesting. It makes me, it makes me feel like uh, I have warriors, warriors in my blood. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like it a lot. Those are the three big ones with the Africa. And moving down here to the European section. Now, if you look at me, who would have guessed 14% European? Um, I do know that uh, one of my grandfathers, like a great-grandfather, is a white man. I guess, I, you know, some of my grandparents, um, they actually had a relationship. Most people would think uh, that it was like a slave, slave, master, slave type of situation. But from what I was told, they had a loving relationship. And yeah, I have a, I have a white ancestry from Europe, I guess. Um, well, Europe, of course, but from Britain, from Britain, I guess. It says Britain and Irish. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that other than keep speaking English. I'm not sure how to represent the I'm not sure how to represent the white people, my people as well. I guess, you know, it's the human race. Everybody is connected in some type of way. And I'm also proud of that part of my DNA. I think that it probably gives me it gives me more of a mixture. When genes are looking for, you know, the dominant and inferior genes to, I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> I got some white DNA too, and that's cool, that's cool. I'll keep speaking English. And a little bit of Spanish, Portuguese, and Ashkenazi Jewish. Ashkenazi Jewish. My family does pay a lot of attention to most of my family is Christians but as Christians my family does pay attention to uh, Jewish festivals uh, the Old Testament and the Bible still have an honor for, for you know the original prophets etc and one of my older one of my older family members took this test and got a higher Jewish percentage so I embrace that. I embrace that. I know that Jews generally are very, have access to a lot of information, which allows them to, you know, behave more intelligently. And Jews also have, uh, like, you know, a distinct, a distinct role in the earth, like very powerful. Even though it's a small population, Jews are very involved with the politics and education and the financial systems. So... My, to my cousins that are watching, you know, extend your hand to the men, the Hajibal. <laughs> yeah, again, everybody, it's travel content, it's language content. This is what I love. I love living a life that I enjoy, learning these languages, traveling the world, and being able to share whatever I can with you all. This is my DNA test. Uh, it's the Hajibal again. I'm from Sacramento, California. If you're interested in following my journey, like, comment, subscribe, stick with me. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And yeah, definitely, definitely wrapping up this crazy year of 2020. Who knows what's around the corner? But anybody who stuck through this video with me, it's all love. And I appreciate you. Until next time, peace.